Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Florida Boy 2626 coming at you with a video. No, I ain't done one in a while. This is an iPad app review of a uh, web browsing app that has built-in Flash. It's better than Skyfire. It's better than any of those little uh, video, I mean, app reviews that are out there, apps that are out there for the Flash. Um, Fresh, that's supposed to be installed plug-in, doesn't work for the iPad and the newest version of videos because all it says is connection error. So I came up across this app. You can get it installed this for free or you can download it from the app store for $4.99 I mean you can imagine which version I got but hey you do what you feel like you need to do so it's my little cool lock screen this theme I'm using by the way is called mob moby fire m-o-b-i-f-i-r-e you can find it in Cydia um, everything is built in the animated screen the sounds the UI sounds and the home screen everything is set um but yeah, here's um, Skyfire, for all those that don't know what that is. It's been the ultimate web browser for Flash. Well, this new browser, Photon, yeah, it's just like the, e the HTC Photon that came out for, or the Motorola Photon that came out for Sprint, but it's a web browser. So if I click on it, see I have YouTube, the desktop version, loaded up. And you can see the Flash Final Destination on the web page is automatically working. All right. So let's say I click on a video. Let's say she's the latest one. Just click on any random video that's up here. Let it load up. I don't know if I actually press that. There we go. As you can see, instead of having to go to the mobile version, or like Skyfire, where it shows you it needs to load the video on the bottom and open it in an alternate view, it's going to play directly from the web page. Takes a little second to load up, but I mean, this beats having to Skyfire, you have to sit here on the bottom and wait for it to load, or on the other browsers, you have to copy and paste it into YouTube or copy and paste it into an alternate reader so it'll play it. This one, as you can see. We are the Jun Junes. I'm Sam. And I'm Max. And we are here shooting our music video. Just to show you. One. That is not just that video. And it's not just that one. I click a random one on the side here. And it's going to do the exact same thing again. It automatically loads Flash content. These are all their videos, so... Um, I can show you a different site. Um... A good website to go to, I guess, would be um, Engadget.com, a mobile uh, web technology or electronic review website. They do mobile phones, computers, all the latest news on things, certain things like that. Um, so let's see. See one that has a vi video that's built into it. It's a little uh, sluggish when it's loading, but all right, this one has a video built into it. So I can scroll down here. The video is going to load in this section or in a different section. It's one of these sections. Page is still refreshing and loading. Flash takes a little bit time, but there it is. Pops up. It's a play button in the middle. All you do is hit it, go to full screen, and it plays the content. We present a linear model method that forms a coherent, unified model from a collection of regional linear. And it's inside the browser. That's my whole point to show you all Flash content shows. So that's an app review. It's called Photon, P-H-O-T-O-N. I'll show it to you again right here. 
It's available for $4.99 in the App Store. Like I said, if you got to install this and you're jailbroken, um, you can get it for free. Now, the jailbreak for the iPad is only up for 4.3.3. And like me, I'm on 4.3. You can't upgrade to 4.3.3 because they don't they're not signing it anymore. So if you're on an iPad 2 and you need to jailbreak for 4.3.3, you're kind of screwed, right? Wrong. Because there's a way to go to jailbreakme.com to allow yourself to jailbreak. I'm going to show you. Okay, this is your regular jailbreakme.com. Right? Web page. Now, if I type in on the right side here. Saffron, hit go, it brings up the CAC page. See that? Saffron. Now, you see right above where it says cache, the little line, all you do is click it. Nope, nope, go back. I don't want to go to the parent directory. Click the one under cache, and it gives you all the PDF files. You can see where it says iPad 4.3.3, 4.3.3, and then it shows the iPad 2 for 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3.1, 4. 4.3. 4. You can get them for all the versions and just click it, and it works the same way. See? It'll try to install it, but obviously I'm not going to install it on that, but that's just that. So hit me up, comment, subscribe.